here's a uh, about a 10 minute warm up. It's more of a mobility routine, not so much yoga, but it's a great thing to do either pre-game, post-game, or pre-workout, just to get range of motion in your joints. And also we're gonna do a little breathing practice here at the beginning. So we'll start here. And this particular movement is a somatic movement and it's called arch and flatten. And it's very small. So when you inhale, you're gonna leave your tailbone down and arch your lower back away from the floor. And then when you exhale, you're gonna bring your belly button to the spine. Inhale, arch away. Exhale, relax the back. And then again, pull the belly button down toward the spine. So you'll, go, you'll start to get a sense of your pelvis rocking forward and back. And this is an excellent movement for back pain or lower extremity pain. And also too, just brings your awareness to your breath. So you can actually place your hands on your belly if you want, just to sort of gather more awareness of the breath here. So you wanna do that for five or 10 times, whatever feels good. And then we're gonna work on the shoulders now. So take your arms out to the sides. Have your right palm facing up and your left palm facing down. And then from your shoulder itself, we're gonna move through internal and external rotation. So on an in-breath, you can start to internally rotate the right side, bringing the right palm down and externally rotating the left side, bringing the left palm up. And then reverse that again. So now you're gonna do internal rotation on the left shoulder and external rotation on the right. So you might notice as I'm going through this that my head wants to move along. You can let that happen. You also might find that your knees want to kind of sway side to side. So just let that happen on its own. But make sure that you're moving from your shoulder as that's the joint that we're kind of working on right now. And then end with both palms up. Bend at your elbows so that your um, arms are at about a 90 degree angle and you see how they kind of look like a goal post here. And then make a fist with your hands. From here, you're gonna move from the elbow and you're gonna draw with your knuckles, little tiny circles on the ceiling in one direction. And then maybe you wanna let the circles get a little bit bigger. And notice if you're feeling this at all in the upper arms or the back, on the shoulders, and then reverse it and go the other way. Again, five to 10 reps on each, you know, each direction. And then when you're finished, take your arms back down by your side, back up your heels a little closer to your hips, and revisit the arch and flatten breathing that we started with. So when you inhale, you're gonna arch the lower back away from the floor a little bit, keeping the tailbone grounded. And when you exhale, you're gonna relax that down, start to bring the belly button toward the spine, and then lift the hips up by pushing into the feet. As you do that, float your right arm up over your head. Hold for a breath or two at the top, and then exhale, bring the arm down and lower the hips back down to the starting position. We'll do that again. Inhale, arch away a little bit. Exhale, relax the back, belly button to spine, and then scoop the hips up as you press the feet into the floor and float the other arm up and over. And then exhale, bring everything down nice and slow. So again, four, five, ten reps on each side. Just do an even amount on each, uh, with each arm lifting. Next, we're going to take the right foot up toward the ceiling, and just do some ankle circles, one direction there, going slow, trying to get a big, giant range of motion, and then go the other way. And this is helping uh, just ankle mobility, foot mobility here, and then point and flex a couple times, and you'll feel this probably in the calf muscle and in the front of the shin. After you finish with the right, just elevate the left leg up, just keep the right leg up. 
because this is a nice inversion right here. And then go ahead and do the circles on the left side, one direction, other direction. I'm going a little bit fast just to demo it for you. Take your time, point and flex. And then go ahead and drop the right foot back down, or the left foot back down. Keep the right leg elevated. And push through the heel here. So you're activating uh, the, the hamstrings on the back and you're feeling the quads in the front. So that makes the leg nice and active. And then on, on a, in an inhale, you're going to switch sides. So again, just be really active through the legs as you're doing this. Going back and forth five or ten times on each side. And then when you're finished, end up with both feet back on the floor and you're going to bring the right knee in towards your chest and out toward your elbow. And then grab onto wherever you can on the lower half of the leg because you're going to send the foot up toward the ceiling, flexed. And see how my leg is just kind of at a 90 degree angle here? I'm going to help my body a little bit here by grabbing on it, again at the ankle, shin, or the instep of the foot and just sort of assist that knee opening up out to the side, which is opening up the right hip. And you're going to hold that for about 10 breaths. And then you're going to switch sides. Come over to the left. And then go ahead and lower both feet to the floor. Stretch the legs out long in front of you and stretch the arms up over your head. Now we're going to use a little bit of the core muscles here in the abdominal area to help us lift the opposite leg to the opposite hand. We'll start with the left leg lifting and the right fingertips coming toward the left shin. And then lower back down and take it over to the other side. So if you have your phone handy, you could time this and maybe start at 30 seconds, inhaling to the center, exhaling to get long. Or if that doesn't make sense, you can reverse it and exhale to the center and inhale to get long. Once you've completed that, bring the knees into the chest, take the hands just behind the thighs and give yourself a little kick and roll up to a seated position. And bring your arms out to the side again. Make that goal post configuration and twist. Again, using your breath to move you through this. Going as fast or as slow as you want. Keeping your elbows high so you can maintain the integrity of that goal post 90 degree on the arms. So this is really getting into the rib cage here and adding some mobility, opening up your diaphragm so you can breathe. And then again, you can set your uh, phone timer around that one too and start with 30 seconds and work your way up to 30 minutes. And then inhale both arms out and up. Exhale, drop the right hand down and reach through the left fingertips and keep your left hip grounded. So working now on uh, lateral flexion of the spine and also just that nice reach, opening up a little bit more of the rib cage here into the intercostals. So a couple of those, maybe three side to side. And then coming back to center, we're going to move ourselves to a um, tabletop position on all fours. So at the beginning, we started again with that arch and flatten breathing. And that is kind of an extension of what we call cat-cow in yoga. So as much as you can, stack your uh, knees underneath your hips. So stack your bones. If it's uncomfortable for you to have your wrists right underneath your shoulders, just set them out a little bit ahead. And when you inhale, you're going to let your belly just sag and you're going to look up with your nose and your tail. And when you exhale, you're going to reverse that. Tuck the chin 
Bring the belly button up towards the spine and really round through that upper back. Inhale, belly relaxes. Exhale, we activate the belly, bringing the belly button up. So we've got five to ten breaths, nice and slow. This just gives you another opportunity to connect movement to your breath. And then when you're finished, just come to a neutral spine, so just a flat spine. Now we're going to take it into a little bit of a wrist warm-up here. And I want you to think about the, uh, the face of a clock, like an old-style digital or uh, analog clock, not digital. So when you think about the different positions, we're going to turn our fingertips out to 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And you might want to add a little movement here, take about three or four breaths. And then you're going to move to three o'clock and nine o'clock. And again, kind of move side to side. So this is stretching the fingers, the hands, the wrists, and the forearms. Okay, things are starting to get real here as we go to the eight o'clock and four o'clock. Again, you can apply a little bit of movement if you want with your breathing. And if this is the hard edge of your range, stay here. If not, try to bring it to six o'clock, bringing the fingertips back, straight back toward the knees. And then here, it sometimes feels good to move the hips back a little bit, put a little bit more stretch in the forearms there. So gradually you'll work your way back through the different positions, taking a couple of breaths, taking your time to move through the different time zones. <laughs> and then you end up back in 12 o'clock. Last thing, so you're gonna curl your toes under here, and say the best for last, and start to walk your hands back toward your knees and set your hips back toward your heels. So you can come in nice and slow. You can spread your uh, toes here if you need to a little bit. This is a, a great stretch for the plantar ligaments on the bottom of the foot. Eventually you're gonna be sitting up like I am with my uh, hips right on my heels and my back is nice and straight. So I'm extending out, pushing my tailbone down, pulling the crown of the head up toward the ceiling and breathing. Again, this is another nice one to time with your phone. Maybe start at 30 seconds. Uh, you're gonna be sore if you've never done this before. So just be kind to yourself <laughs> and work your way up. And basically that's it. Once you finish there, flip the feet over. So the top part of the foot's resting on the floor and push your hips back toward your heels. And just take a couple breaths and rest in child's pose. You can stack your hands, your fists here if you want to rest the head. But just take, give yourself a couple of breaths before you start whatever you're going to start. So basically that's it. Have fun. Stay mobile.